What is up you guys, back with you with another video, and as you can see in the title, we're going to react to the very first trailer for Blue Beetle. I cannot wait for this man, I've been waiting for so many years for Jaime Reyes to get his own live action movie. I grew up with this guy in The Brave and the Bold and Young Justice, and I love this guy so much. He's way cooler than Ted Kord, no offense, but still, I love Jaime Reyes way more. And, uh, yeah. So, a lot of you are thinking, is this movie going to lead into anywhere? I'm here to tell you that actually is going to lead into somewhere in the future, because James Gunn himself did confirm that since there's no cameos, it's in its own little world right now, he can easily implement it into the new DC Universe, which is great. I want to see Blue Beetle. So technically, Blue Beetle is going to be the first DC Universe movie set in the new universe. I think it just depends on how it does financially and critically, because I've been hearing positive reviews in the test screenings for this movie. But say we have another Shazam 2 scenario where it doesn't do good financially. I don't know, man. It's unknown at the moment, but at the moment, it just looks like this will be part of the new universe, which is good. I'm, I'm just going to get into this. Let's just go. Let's do this. All right. Got the trailer all loaded up. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. Ooh, hot Marias. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Oh. So relatable. Everything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet, bro. Cord. Hi, man. I did, I did, I they don't get out much. <laughs> I, I just want to rap. Jenny? I just want to rap. Guard the habits in your life, but do not open it. You went in to get a job, and all you Also, this is how he gets the scarab? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell Whoa. is that? Whoa. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, man. Oh, that looks painful. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Bro, we got Uzi. I, I'm digging that suit. Post acquired. Who said that? It's okay, it's gonna be okay! Oh, we in space! <gasps> this looks so cool. Free entry systems ready. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Woo! Your wings look insane. The summer. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Sometimes it does what you want. <laughs> Even he's doing like this. This shows how powerful Blue Beetle can be. The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. Mm, I don't know about that. The love you feel for your family makes you weak. Ooh, is that gonna be Black Beetle? Oh, oh dang! Straight so out of water. Kid, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Oh, I'm kind of vibing with this. I can create. Wow. Let's party. Bro, they whipped out the Buster Sword. Nice choice. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sold. I want to see this. Whoa. It's like Batman stuff. Ted Core suit. <laughs> Batman's a fascist. All right, so that was the Blue Beetle trailer. I think it's going to be a fun movie. I had a fun time watching this. Sholo's definitely going to own the role of Jaime Reyes, and I'm all in for it. And it looks like Blue Beetle already is an established character in this universe because in the end, we saw all the past Blue Beetle suits, Ted Cord suits. He's also got Cord Industries. And the villain, maybe not Ted Cord exactly, but maybe someone related to Ted Cord is the villain, and they want the scarab back from Jaime Reyes. And uh, I do think it's going to be a fun film. George Lopez called Batman a fascist. That was funny. But that also means that Batman's already an established character. Which makes sense because we are getting the Brave and the Bold movie. Where it's going to have an experienced Batman in the new universe with Damian Wayne. James Gunn implied this. So it makes sense. And uh, I genuinely think this will feel like Shazam. But better. No, no offense. But still. I think it's going to be way more fun. And it looks like Jaime Reyes is already going to be an established and legacy character. 
And honestly, I'm okay with it. I mean, no offense to Ted Cord, but I think Jaime Reyes is way better as Blue Beetle. Not gonna lie, I think he's, he's my favorite Blue Beetle. Not gonna, I grew up with this guy, so I'm a little bit biased, but yeah. And if you're wondering why the CGI and VFX look a little bit spotty in some shots, this is because this movie was supposed to be a direct-to-streaming movie to HBO Max. It was not supposed to go out into movie theaters, but they revealed that it's going to go to movie theaters first and then streaming. So they changed their mind, and honestly, I'm all in for it. I think Blue Beetle definitely deserves to have his own big screen movie. But yeah, if you're wondering why it's like that, now you know. So yeah, I'm honestly okay with it. Overall, as long as the writing's good, it'll be a fun movie. I don't know if it'll hit a billion in the box office, but... I honestly don't care. As long as the movie is good, I'll be happy. And make sure to go watch this movie. This is actually going to lead into something. I'll see you guys next time when the new Spider-Verse trailer comes out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you and bye-bye.